In this video, I'll show you the best lavalier microphone positions to use to record good sound. The first position is the one that's probably most used by sound professionals. The microphone is in the middle of the chest and about six inches down from the collarbone. You don't need to measure the distance, you can usually just eyeball it. A handy tip though is to make an L shape with your thumb and forefinger, then place your thumb on your collarbone, that's the bone that you can feel between your neck and chest, and then where the index finger touches your breastbone, that's where the lavalier microphone should go. Generally, the position will give you the best quality sound, but if the speaker has a particularly deep voice, too much bass can be picked up, making the voice sound a little bit muddy. If your talent is wearing a tie, attach the mic capsule to the front or to the rear at about that six inch position. Use an alligator tie clip if the mic is to go on the front. For rear mounting, where you want to make the microphone invisible, use some gaff tape. If the speaker is wearing a button shirt, then you can clip the mic to the uh, edge of the shirt, the bit with the buttonholes. Um, usually the mic capsule is attached to the front of uh, the shirt, uh, but if you need to hide the microphone, use tape to stick the mic on the underside of the shirt. With t-shirts and dresses, clipping the mic to the material in the middle of the chest looks a bit untidy as the alligator clip will crumple together the material. Um, in this case, you can use tape to secure the mic to the skin or to the undergarment. Another popular place to attach a lavalier microphone is the lapel of a jacket, which is why these mics are often referred to as lapel mics. It's a good position for sound, the mic is easy to attach, and the cable can be tucked behind the lapel and fed down to a body pack or the audio recorder. The clip is reversible, so uh, the microphone can go on either lapel, but because the mic isn't in the center position, you might find that the audio level is uneven if the speaker turns their head to the opposite side. In an interview situation, attach the microphone to the lapel nearest to the other person taking part in the interview, since the speaker will tend to turn their head in that direction, and therefore their voice will be picked up more clearly. I've already mentioned the placement of a lavalier microphone with a t-shirt or dress, so that it's approximately six inches down. But a quick and easy alternative is to clip the microphone to the neckline of the dress or t-shirt. This position is almost as good as the middle of the chest in terms of sound quality. Use the alligator clip that came with your lavalier mic to clip the mic onto the collar or neckline. I don't think it looks as neat as some of the other positions, but you can tuck the cable straight down the inside of the t-shirt or dress. Don't worry that the mic capsule is on its side, since most lavalier microphones are omnidirectional. You could even have the capsule facing downwards, uh, which would also help to prevent pops. If you need to hide a lavalier microphone, you can stick it to the underside of a shirt collar using some small strips of gaff tape. You'd lead the cable round to the back of the collar and then drop it down the back, either on the inside or outside of the shirt. With the mic being off to one side though, the sound can be a little bit muffled and the audio level inconsistent if the speaker moves their head from one side to the other. The problem of the mic being too far away is also made worse by the fact that these days, most of us wear our shirts uh, or blouses unbuttoned, so the collar tends to be further back from the speaker's mouth. The sound is better if the shirt is buttoned up. Because the mic is on one side, this mic position works well for interviews where the speaker has their head turned toward the other person. 
Another place you can hide a lavalier microphone is in the hair or on a hat. However, the mic tends to be visible unless you're shooting wider shots. When you're shooting for YouTube or TikTok, the microphone tends to be visible. One mic position I don't recommend is the one you often see on TikTok, where the lavalier microphone is held in the hand about six to eight inches in front of the mouth. I'll admit this position is great for capturing good quality sound, possibly even better than the middle of the chest, but it looks dreadful and looks amateurish for video. If you need to hold a microphone in front of you, get a handheld dynamic microphone with a cardioid polar pattern and hold it six to eight inches in front of your mouth. It will look professional, pick up your voice clearly and be effective at cutting some of the background noise. Holding a lavalier microphone in front of you is neither practical nor a credible way of using this type of microphone. But I can understand why some people use a lavalier microphone as a handheld mic. A reasonable handheld mic costs 70 to $100, while this budget lav mic sounds okay and costs about $15. If you're looking for an inexpensive lapel mic or a handheld mic, I'll leave a link in the description to my recommendations. That's it for this week. Please like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It helps me make more. And to make sure you don't miss any, hit that notification bell. Finally, you can find in-depth articles on my website, DIYvideostudio.com. I'll put a link in the description. I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again next time.